Hey guys, it's Greg here, aka Anti Crazy Movie Geek. Welcome to my next film review on the films I hate. Okay, it's time to do more film reviews on crappy sequels once again. Alright, I'm here to do the film review on the third installment in the Scream franchise that was made in the year 2000, and it's a freaking stupid piece of crap of a sequel. And that's this film right here, Scream 3. Freaking crap sequel, it shouldn't even been made. Okay, after Scream 2, I was like, that's it. I'm done with the Scream films. The films aren't going to get any better. But when I heard that Scream 3 was made, I was like, oh well, I'll just stick it on and I'll give it a whirl. But I was really disappointed. This film is a complete epic load of crap from start to finish. Alright? This film is one of the crappiest sequels I've ever seen in my life. Just like Scream 2. But this sequel is even more worse than Scream 2, in my opinion. Okay? The scariest Scream is always the last. Whoever put that comment down on the front cover of Scream 3 is complete full of crap. This is the least scariest film, in my opinion. You know what, guys? I am not scared of any of the Scream films whatsoever. But that comment is full of crap, alright? It's on for 112 minutes. So that's 112 minutes of my life being wasted. It's a film by Wes Craven once again. I don't know what the hell he was thinking. The main stars are David Arquette, Neve Campbell, Courtney Cox Arquette, Patrick Dempsey, Jenny McCarthy, Parker Posey, and Dion Richmond. Okay, a lot of people out there might be saying, Greg, this is supposed to be a film review. Talk about Scream 3. You know what, guys? I find this film so hard to follow because this sequel was that boring. It's just a piece of garbage of a sequel, alright? I'll give it a whirl anyways, but don't start an argument if I say the plot wrong, okay? Alright, Sydney is now hibernating, and there is a new film, which is currently in production, called Stab 3, and the killer is on the loose. Once again, he started another killing spree, and during the film, he kills all of the cast from the new Stab 3 film one by one. And Sydney found out that the killing spree has carried on. And now Sydney is going to Hollywood to face the killer. And there are a few characters that have been introduced in Scream 3 and Sydney is basically the main character in the whole Scream franchise and she goes to Hollywood to stop and face the killer who started the killing spree after he killed all of the cast from Stab 3 in Scream 3 All right. That's basically my thoughts of what Scream 3 is about. So, I gave it a whirl anyways, but just don't start an argument that I said the plot wrong for Scream 3. Like I said, I find this film so hard to follow because this sequel was that bad and stupid, alright? There's nothing good about Scream 3 whatsoever. Alright? There are loads and loads of horror films that are even more better than Scream 3. For examples, Freddy vs. Jason, A Nightmare on Elm Street, Friday the 13th, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Saw, Dead Silence, and all of the other horror films 
that are even more better than this type of sequel, alright? 112 minutes of pure epic fail and it's not worth my time really while I was watching Scream 3. All the way through the film I was like that. Just to try and understand of what this film is about. But I can never get through it, I don't know why. Maybe because I wasn't in a bad mood while I was watching it. Or maybe because I was really bored while I was watching this film. So really, I wasn't really looking forward to watch Scream 3 at all, but I watched it and it's a load of crap in general, alright? The first Scream film is the best in the whole franchise, but not Scream 2 or Scream 3 whatsoever, alright? So really, don't waste your time watching Scream 3. Just go and watch the first Scream film because it's the best. But Scream 2 and Scream 3 aren't those type of sequels that you will watch over and over again, alright? The film received mixed reviews and this film is not as good as Scream 2 or Scream 3. Well actually, the first Scream film is a whole lot better than Scream 2 and Scream 3 in my opinion. So that's the review guys for Scream 3. Crap plot, crap cast, crap acting, crap film in general. Please write a comment on this video and Scream 4 is going to be out on DVD really soon and I'm getting that DVD to complete the Scream franchise and I will do a film review on Scream 4. So stay away from Scream 3 and Scream 2. Just go and watch the first Scream film because the first film explained everything. I think the Scream franchise should come to an end at the first Scream film but not Scream 2 or Scream 3 whatsoever. So, that's my review for Scream 3. Thanks guys. Peace.